Welcome, Crusaders. Thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So we're about to head into this burning house. Um, I have... I had heard a few things about there being somewhat of a time constraint here at the beginning of the game. And I think the game maybe sort of hinted to that with, with uh, talking about Defender's Heart, maybe, and something happening there after a certain amount of time but apparently uh, we need to sort of uh, pay attention to how much we're resting and w we've already done quite a bit of that and we're basically out of healing of any kind so i don't know uh, we'll uh we'll see how things go here but hopefully we haven't sounds like uh, maybe potentially just lock us out of certain story elements, possibly, uh, but we'll see. Saxon got poisoned there, unfortunately. Zeke has managed not to fall off the horse, at least. The stinking cloud. I was actually I was reading some things, and now I can't remember what I read. <laughs> But there's something, uh, maybe it's a, I can't remember if it's a hex that we could potentially get that can protect us from certain uh, things like the poison mist Do not hold back. or purple farts, as I like to call them. I was thinking that this was the home of that Darren, or the party house, but because there were like people trapped in here, there doesn't seem to be much in here besides these demons. I don't know. Let's see if we can take care of these guys. I do. I uh, really appreciate the comments and uh, people uh, trying to help out with tips for the game without uh, spoiling things for me. I do, I want it to be, I want it to be fun for me, I want it to be fun for people to watch as well. And of course I want to try to figure things out as much as I can on my own, but there is, there's a lot to learn in this game. <laughs> Sela just got destroyed there, wow. Oh my god. Excruciating. <laughs> wow, what did we walk into here? This is not good. I was really close to actually just leaving this area because Well, for one thing, I wanted to get back over to the other side of the chasm through town. And it didn't seem like I had a way to do that. Because we were uh, failing the mobility check we needed to like climb back up the wall. This is not going well at all. And we're really just almost without healing of any kind. Couldn't tell what was happening with Zeke there. I think he was lying down and we just stood up, but he's still... Uh, under the effect of the purple mist. Okay, I don't I don't think this is going anywhere. Um, I think I'm I'm gonna hit one of the exits and just see if we come back into town if it puts us or into the square, if it puts us back in on the other side of the crack. I feel like there's an exit close here, up there. Um, I'm not, there's an exit over here, but I'm not sure we can get to it. Because of this rubble. Oh, it's, okay, we can. Let's try to climb up here one more time. Godspeed. Pretty good. Aren't I? Oh, we made it. Okay. Good. I wanted to head back 
around here. I think there was a skill check over here somewhere to get across like up into this area. Right here. So we can potentially climb this rubble. Okay, we've got an athletics check here. Lon's got our highest athletics level. I don't know if this will help if we'd use the enlarged person on him to give him strength boost. That helps with his athletics checks then. I don't think. Well, maybe he was at eight before. We got plus two there. So I don't know, maybe that give us a little bit of a boost here. Dude, so now we're tired. <laughs> Always be ready for the worst. I guess we're not getting up there. And now everybody's everybody's fatigued now. And exhausted. <laughs> Which means we're pretty much gonna have to rest, aren't we? Oh, well, okay, we're back over here at least. Jeez, we're gonna have to rest. We're gonna have to. I was trying to avoid having to do that. Instead, we uh, kind of forced ourselves into it. Okay. Well, I don't know how how much resting is too much resting, and I don't really want to know, I guess. But <laughs> we'll find out. We're uh, sleeping too much. Our corruption is is getting up there. Oh right, the other thing we need to do here is we've got we've been picking up these first aid kits and need to use those for this filth fever. See if we can fix that. Okay, good. And. Well, Jeff's got the same disease. There we go. All right. We're ready to... Uh, let's go back and talk to Hole Run. Let's see if we can... Uh, I guess we could try this again, but... Geez, that's We fail again and just exhaust ourselves more. We'll end up having to rest again. Let's see if we can resolve this issue with him and Ramian. The Inquisitor gives you an, an appraising look. Well, what brings you to me? Remind me who you are again. I talked to Ramian. He's not your enemy. He only wants what's good for Canabras. The Inquisitor gives you a black look. I would consider those words an admission of treason from anyone else. But I don't wish to draw my weapon against he who has been given heaven's gift. And I won't, as long as you don't do anything worse than conniving with that rabble-rouser Ramian. It'd be really nice if we could level up. We're getting fairly close. I won't ask you again to kill the rabble-rouser, but as soon as we liberate the city from the demons, my faithful will hunt him down. Why are you obsessed with finding enemies everywhere you look? I feel like we already asked him this. Oh, we got some more XP, though. Why? Why? You must not be from these parts, or you wouldn't have asked such a question. I look for enemies everywhere, because our enemies are everywhere. Who are we at war with? Demons. Demons and cultists. They are masters of deception. They worm, worm their way into your favor and masquerade in all manner of false guises. Do you think Dresden was taken by force? No, by trickery. Were it not for me, Canabras would have gone the same way long ago, captured from under our noses. I'm pretty sure we saw that dialogue before, but we picked up some XP there for this. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. This was a long time ago. I was very young then, and I had just joined the Crusade. Back then, Canabras didn't have a garrison so much as a public thoroughfare. Anyone who wanted could just stroll into the city. One day at dawn, a group of refugees came up to the city gates, bold as brass. The guards let them in, and why not? For no one was ever turned away. Twas no matter, everyone was welcome in our city. Yeah, we've, we've seen this. Yeah, the demons 
came after the Wardstone. One of them was Minago. Oh, so we can try to get him to join us. Quit guarding your crack here and head to Defender's Heart. Prelate. Your forces are needed elsewhere. Irabeth Tirabade, Warden of the City, is gathering troops in the Defender's Heart Tavern to strike against the demons. Who now? Tirabade? That upstart? Warden of the City? And I suppose I've already been written off for dead. This isn't sedition, this is outright insurrection. I'm loath to abandon my watch, but I can't turn a blind eye to such a blatant usurpation of power. We have no hope of defeating the enemy if there is disorder within our ranks. I'm going over there right now. I need to see what this Irabath is up to. Three late Holrun soldiers have joined the Crusaders. Okay, that's cool. I'm not sure we were done talking to him, but I guess we are, for now at least. So this says he's been persuaded to change his position on Ramian. Instead of death, the Desnan priest is threatened with exile. Ramian should hear what fate has been handed down to him. Okay. So maybe we can go find... Is Ramian still standing? He was up here. Uh, Ilks was in the temple. Maybe Ramian followed him in there. Oh, we were going to go up here. So I think... Across here, I think we can go to the east over here. So maybe that's actually another route over into this area. So let's head back over there. We've picked up a few allies here so far. We picked up uh, some mongrels. Well, actually, we sent them <laughs> sent them down into the abyss. Hold on, we'd meet them down there. And then uh, Hole Run and his guys. And then... Oh, there were some, uh, forget who, we met some other people. Oh, it was some of the, uh, thieflings. I think we, uh, picked up their help. Ramian in here? No, just Elks. You seen Ramian? Oh, here he is. Okay. Okay, Ramian, we talked to Holren. I'm not going to run, kill me if you wish, but I ask you, hear me out first. I managed to calm Holren down a little, but he's still hell bent on driving you out of the city once the demon attack has been repelled. Ramian's head lowers. I suppose I should be pleased, but the idiocy, the injustice of it all, it makes my blood boil. I will leave Canabras, but not before we fight off the demons. No matter what happens, I thank you. Irabeth Tirabade of the Eagle Watch is gathering survivors in the Defender's Heart Tavern. You would be very useful there. Cool, okay. Fear my presence there would be ill-advised. Even though you managed to reason with our mutual friend, the sight of me might reignite his Inquisitor's zeal. I'll make myself useful elsewhere. Alas, this city has a great many souls in need of a cleric's aid. Speaking of Cleric, I wish you could sell me some stuff. Alright, I thank you for listening to me and defending me. Now it's my turn to go out into the ruins in search of people who need help, and I shall give it. So, we failed to kill Ramian, but we uh, managed to keep the peace for now, at least. Alright, so I'm not sure... If that house we went into was actually this one here for Count Darren Arende. Okay, we're gonna keep heading over here and see. I think from the map it looks like we could I will guide us. go the other direction up here. Yeah, we're like super close here to another level, which will feel really good. Might might make us uh, more confident in fighting those demons inside that house where we got murdered. What do we have here? Things coming up out of the ground. I won't let you hurt my friends. We got like spikes on their back.
ghouls. Immune to lots of stuff. Negative energy. They've got a bite attack. Undead, so it'd be really nice if we had some uh, like positive energy channeling here. Okay, Sila, let's just take this guy down. And how strong these are. That's that's cool. So I suppose they're not going to be affected. Yeah, they're immune to fear. So the uh, marching terror glaive is not going to help us here. Cover me, all right? They got this one, told you. Nice. These things don't appear to be the wrong mongrel. Uh, too much of a uh, threat. All right, Zeke, let's Do get in there and back. finish off this one. Oh, come on. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Okay. Take care of some ghouls. Somebody walking around over here. Curl. A short, hooded figure is poking about some bodies lying in the middle of the street. The stranger drags the first body off the road, respectfully props it up against the wall, and places the corpse's hands on its chest. The figure then freezes, as if hesitating, and you see him reach out his hand toward the beautiful gold amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, then reaches out again. Well, well. Look what we have here. Looting corpses, are we? Amelia, what did you expect? Almost everyone is dead. The city now belongs to the demons and the vermin, rats, crows, and creatures like this one. The stranger almost jumps out of his skin and the hood falls from his head. Under a mop of red curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, phew, I thought you were demons. Good day to you, good sir. Zila's eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Curl, is that you? The halfling looks at Sila and smiles broadly. Oh, Lady Sila, you're alive. Goodness me, that's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day. What was the first bit of good news? Stick around and see for yourself. You know this person, Sila? Meet Rim V, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights in the Condemned. He's one of a kind, a rogue with a heart of gold. Sila smiles, then adds a little more seriously. Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you should ask yourself if what you were about to do is right. The halfling's cheeks flush and he hides his hands behind his back. I didn't. I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you tell me anything useful about what's going on in the city? I'm afraid not, good sir. I just left the defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there, too scared to leave. Although spending all that time under Commander Erebeth's nose sure was something. She's a strict one. Phew. And when she gets antsy. Well, Jeff, don't even start. I've had enough of her breathing down my neck to last me a lifetime. So what are we doing here? Robbing corpses? No, the halfling protests. Rimvi Curl may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get these poor lads' bodies off the road. My friends and I are on a terribly important mission, and we need to get through. He is interrupted by the sound of wheels rolling on the paving stones. A cart, drawn by a sad little horse, appears from around the corner. A pretty half-elf is driving it, and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tanned face and his blue eyes shining brightly. The halfling straightens up. See? A terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving a beer cart from the demons. Oh, you are... Heroes, indeed. Elan of the Hound Hearts. As he's speaking, the newcomers notice you and the knight cries out in jubilation. Sila, I never thought I'd see you again. I thought you were headed to the main square, the center of the demon's attack. Oh, this is Janna Aldori. The half-elf smiles warmly at Sila. Hey, friend, glad to see you're all right. When we got separated by the crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. 
And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized that was the reason why I'd been so anxious. But I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so I kept my hopes up, and I was proved right. Sela's face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news Coral was talking about. You and Janna are alive. Actually, by good news, I meant that we found the beer cart. <laughs> Sir Elan and Janna being alive amounts to a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. A beer cart? How about sharing with us? I'm sure we could all do with a drink. The half-elf winks rakishly. Certainly. Give me your flask, friend, and if you walk with us to the Defender's Heart, we can have a more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. Janna, there's no need. The heart is very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off an attack if there is one. Besides, our friend here surely has better things to do, more important things than carrying barrels of beer, I'll wager. I don't know. We need to keep our priorities straight. By the way, my name is Elon, Sir Elon of the Hound Hearts. I'm glad to meet someone who survived this madness. You haven't told me how you know Sela. I'll save that story till we're all back at the, the Defender's Heart. You're going back there, aren't you? We'll have a reason to toast our spoils. Are you aware, Sir Knight, that your friend Curl was trying to rob a corpse? Seek, is that really necessary? Curl didn't even do anything. Whatever he might have been thinking, that's between him and his conscience. What's wrong with hearing the truth? I think Janna and I have the right to know what our newfound friend is up to. Elon looks sternly at the cringing halfling. I'm not your commander, Curl, and I can't punish you or even condemn you. I suppose lots of people, Mendev, think that the war justifies anything. But, do, but think about it. That dead fellow might have a family somewhere. His property and mementos should be returned to their rightful owners. They're bound to have sentimental value. Take this card, for example. We might take it now, but once the city is freed, the Eagle Watch and the other orders will certainly try to find the lawful owners and compensate them fairly for their losses. Enough, friend. I didn't even do anything. I was just thinking about it. And honestly, I don't think we'll even be able to gather up all the bodies and hand them over to Eagle Watch. They'll be looted anyway. Well, that will be on the conscience of the one who does it. But you are a crusader, Curl, though you might not have volunteered. Those who fight against evil itself have to be better than common folk with their moral frailties. Alright, we need to get moving. So long, we're sure to meet again, either in the city or at the Defender's Heart. Sure you will. Come to the tavern. We'll celebrate the valiant rescue of this barrel together. Alright, we took care of that little quest. A little... Ah, nice. We leveled up. Okay. Well, we saved the beer, and everybody gets a level to go with their ale. We will uh, take care of that. So Zeke here at level four picks up some new spell options. We'll need to look at those. Also gets an ability point, which I think we should drop into wisdom here. Get that up to plus four. Okay, as far as what spell to pick up for him here, I feel like actually we get to pick two of them. I think at this point, some more healing is going to be helpful. Even though I don't envision him as being our main healer, I think an extra cure moderate wounds is going to help us get through things. And then I think... Maybe the same way with the uh, protection from alignment. Camellia's got that also, but I like that it's a communal spell here and something we could potentially use uh, throughout the whole game, even if Camellia ends up not being a member of our party. So I'm going to grab those two things. And that takes care of getting Zeke leveled up. Next, let's get Saxon here.
we'll grab another point here in dexterity. Gets his AC up one more to 20. I had forgotten, you know, when we were uh, trying to climb up that hill or climb over that rubble. Saxons actually are uh, athletics skill guy. Okay, he's good to go. Now, Sila. Oh, she actually picks up. Uh, we were just talking about channeling energy would have been nice with those ghouls. And then she gets another use of smite. All right, and then we'll just we'll get we're going to get charisma here up to 16. Yeah, so people were talking about uh, her mobility here. You could potentially want to get that up for some uh, potential feats with were we to uh, give her a pet. Not sure we're going to do that. Um, although that, that might be cool. Could end up with a lot of uh, pets to manage. Almost kind of want to go into some stealth for her, even though it's so bad because of her armor. Be able to get her in a better position, start off fights. Okay, so she picked up bunch of new spells. Okay, so she picks up one spell here. I think I'm going to grab Bless Weapon. The weapon in your primary hand is treated as a magic weapon for the purpose of overcoming damage reduction. That Marching Terror, is that already considered a magical weapon? Okay, I'm not sure if uh, her glaive that she's that marching terror if that already counts as a magic weapon. Even so, with this against evil enemies, she gets um, all critical threats are automatically confirmed, so every threat is a critical hit. Go ahead and, and put that on her. Uh, that's, uh, we can think, we can adjust this at will. So give her that for now. Okay. Camellia. So she can learn some new hexes here at level four. Probably want to just go ahead and get her decks up to 20. Oh, this may be the the hex I was thinking about for the uh, stinking cloud those guys like to spray at us. Aura of purity. Yeah, diseases, inhaled poisons, and noxious gases, gaseous effects such as stinking cloud are negated in a 10-foot aura around the shaman for a number of minutes equal to her level. This duration does not need to be consecutive, but it must be spent in one-minute increments. Effects caused by spells whose level is more than half the shaman's level are unaffected. Oh, I like I like that for particularly that purple haze. Those guys like to shoot at us. The ice plant does sound pretty cool. Just a plus two bonus to her AC. I like this aura of purity. I think we're going to pick that up. I like that it's uh, an AoE around her. Let me grab that. Good, she's got that here. We don't, we don't have to rest to get access to that either. So we might head directly back to that house after this 
Let's see if we can uh, take on those demons. Okay, Mr. Lawn here. So we get to select a key power here, level four for him. I think we put his point here into Dax. Okay, I'm debating here between Bark Skin and True Strike. The thing I don't like about True Strike is whenever it always feels like a waste of a turn. I use that when they could just be attacking instead. But what I what I could do with it is use that at the beginning of of a fight to initiate a fight. If he uses that and then attacks. To, uh, st to start off the fight might be a, a good use for that. The bark skin would be good, but he's typically not. If he's getting hit, then we're uh, kind of probably having troubles. So let's go ahead and grab this. We'll see if we can make use of that. That does it for Lawn then. And just a wool jiff. Oh, Ember, too, is going to be left. So he picks up Debilitating Injury. Whenever the rogue deals sneak attack damage to a foe, she can also debilitate the target of her attack, causing it to take a penalty for one round. The rogue can choose to apply any one of the following penalties when the damage is dealt. Bewildered, disoriented, hampered. Hmm. We'll have to see how that works. We have to choose the penalty. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Okay, so <laughs> we're we uh I actually went back and reloaded because as I was leveling up Wolf and looking at his ability points, I remembered that we wanted to give Saxon another point in intelligence so that we could get that to three, which we need for some of the feats that we want. So I went back and fixed that and I'm going to have to redo everybody else now, but that's all right. I, I, uh, I'm glad I remembered this now and not a couple days from now. Okay, so with Wolf here, I guess we, we kind of need to decide if really want to uh, use him more as a spellcaster or a stabby stabby with the daggers. Um, can't decide whether to uh, boost dexterity here or go more in intelligence. I think we're going to go ahead and, and boost dex. Um, if nothing else, we get that up one more. Another uh, Another boost to his AC wouldn't hurt. Okay, then we're going to grab Blur and Mirror Image for him then. Both of those should be helpful. And then that just leaves Amber here. At some point, maybe when I'm further into the game, We'll have to decide what to do with these people, and uh, I can see some respecking happening at some point, which uh, is fine. For now, we're just going to kind of sticking with, I guess, their uh, intended class here for now. Uh, go ahead and get her charisma up one more there, I guess. Okay, I think for her hex, then we're gonna grab Evil Eye. Target takes a minus two penalty on one of the following conditions that we get to choose, apparently AC, ability checks, attack rolls, saving throws, or skill checks. It lasts for a number of rounds equal to three plus, be her charisma modifier. So, and then potentially for her, then if we grab Cackle, if we have someone under the influence of the Evil Eye, this will extend that. It will also extend some other things 
as well if we end up grabbing those. So take that for now. Okay, and then I think a little fire damage here would be nice. Uh, the burning hands, I don't like her having to get up close to be able to use that. So with the molten orb, at least uh, she can toss that from a little bit of a distance. Okay. That gets everybody leveled up. So I kind of wanted to see what else we had over here in this corner. Let's continue up this path. We're, okay, we're close to the edge, I thought. So can we get over here, though, is the question. From down here. We got some recruits. What's happening down here? So sweet it is to kill. Oh, great. Okay, so we get to uh, fight the uh, newly uh, newly born zombies from our former crusader friends. It would have been nice to have a rest after leveling up, but I feel like we should just uh, Put that off for a little bit if we can. Okay, I see. So we can select here which type of injury he's going to apply. Bewildering. Penalty to AC. Disorienting. Penalty to their attack. Hampering. Reduce their speed. So probably, in general, I don't know. You want the AC penalty or the attack penalty? I think if we leave it on bewildering, unless we're uh, going up against like a boss or something, we could maybe try the disorientation. Feels like though the enemies where we would want to apply the disorienting injury are probably going to, uh, they're probably gonna roll do a save against it. This is only on sneak attack damage. It doesn't mention a save against it, so does that get applied no matter what, as long as we deal the sneak attack damage? It doesn't mention a, a save against it, so we'll leave it we'll leave it there for now. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Nice line. We should be able to handle these ghouls. But I'm, I'm really trying not to uh, get overconfident about anything. That never ends well. Alright, we got the sneak attack there. We didn't uh, need the hamp for the. Uh, Injury on that. He's injured to the max. Okay. Oh, nice. A handful of health potions there. Would really be helpful. I have managed. Gray hair, ashen skin. This person fell prey to a Nabasu. This demon sucks the very life. And it's gone. Oh, here. Sucks the very life essence from its victims and transforms them into ghouls. I still can't tell from the map if we're coming in a back way from... Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we got zombies over there. Where'd you go? There he is. 
Down All right, let's try this. Greatest challenge. Three strike. One. Then hit this one. You won't survive me. Yet another obstacle. Nice. Take him out. All right, Sila. Let's get the in here. Light. Take you. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Should have used the uh, channel positive energy instead. Could have hit all three of these. Maybe next time. What's this? Shadow? Is it got an intimidating looking portrait there? So we're gonna have trouble hitting this thing. But incorporeal. Still not sure. We fought that shadow demon in the basement. I, when I was watching it back, I wasn't sure if it was actually the slashing damage that was getting it, or is it actually a. Is, is it. It has to be a magical weapon. Damage from non magical weapons. Is that why only Zeke's Radiance and Sila's Warring Terror? Those both considered magic weapons. That's why they were getting damage in. Like, well, Jeff here, you're not going to be able to do anything Apple. against this, are you? <laughs> Immune. Yeah. Well, we can let everybody else focus on the zombies and hope that Sila and Zeke can take out this shadow. Oh, we were going to use the uh, channel positive energy damage undead here. Well, that damaged him quite a bit. Okay. Attack! Okay. Or slashing. So it seems like I mean, we didn't do any magic damage, unless it's just I don't know. <laughs> if anybody has a good explanation there for me, is it actually the slashing damage, or is it a magical weapon that is damaging the incorporeal enemy? Amber just blew up that zombie with the crossbow. Ooh, just took 12 strength damage. How? <laughs> All right. Now, Lon just did damage to the shadow there with the wicked longbow, so... I haven't been able to figure out what counts as a magic weapon and this has magic magic -y sounding qualities but it doesn't specifically say that anywhere but he actually damaged that shadow we really need to kill it before anybody else takes that kind of a strength hit Jeez. should have used the uh Chan channeling that would have killed it probably let's go Zeke we shall overcome okay wow well I think we can finish up these zombies I don't know how we're gonna come up with enough restoration for all that strength damage that she took get those taken care of okay Well, open your heart to me. Do we have any restoration? Got scroll of lesser lesser restoration. Uh, that's not gonna fix all of that strength damage, though. Some of it, she can at least walk now. That's. 
That's tough. I don't think we have anything else. We had one restoration potion at one time, but we drank that. Okay, well, we're, we're still, we're making our way around this upper corner. I'd, I hear uh, sounds from up here. Maybe this is the mansion we're looking for. More mansion-y looking than that other house was. It's definitely on fire, too. Okay. Well, still more to do here. Uh, we're going to try to keep getting through it as uh, efficiently as we can. Uh, it was really nice to level up there. I think that's going to help us here getting through the rest of this area, hopefully. Thanks for being here with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again here with me in Canabras. Bye-bye.